Okay, this tinted serum is absolutely amazing. My skin just looks so perfect, it's crazy. So in today's video, I am finally gonna be trying out the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. Am I a little late on the bandwagon? Yes. But in my defense, we get everything like six months later here in Australia than you guys do in other areas of the world, okay? <laughs> I have actually had people requesting for me to try this formula out for a really long time, so I'm really excited to be getting into it. So it is a tinted serum, so it's essentially skincare with a tint. It's infused with 1% of pure hyaluronic acid, and it's meant to give the skin this really beautiful, natural, glowy finish with sheer coverage. It's just very flattering. Now it looks like it does come in 10 different shades, but the shades are flexible. So one shade is meant to go between like three or four skin tones kind of a thing. I've picked it up in the shade six to seven tan. Oh, looking at it now, I may have needed the slightly lighter shade, but we're gonna stick with it and see how it goes. On the back here, it says, instantly unifies and brightens uh, the appearance of the complexion, plumps the skin with moisture, it provides smoother skin, and apparently it will reduce dehydration marks. So I'm assuming that will help to soften out fine lines and wrinkles and any texture and anything. I have seen some people rave on about this. I'm so excited to get it on my face, so let's jump into actually testing the formula. Now, being that I'm such an oily skin type and I've got textured skin, I'm gonna go in with a primer first. This is our matte base primer, of course. This one is slightly tinted, so it helps it really blend into the skin seamlessly so that you can't see it. You know how a lot of primers have like white tints and white casts? This one doesn't. I've also been really pressing it into the pores on the side of my nose. I feel like they're looking a little enlarged lately, so I'm just pushing it in there to make sure they look really, really smooth once the foundation's on. Well, once the serum's on. Now directions, apparently we shake it to activate the formula and it actually wants me to rub this in with my fingers, which you guys know me, freaks me out. But let's just try it on one side of my face. Okay, and I'm gonna rub it in. Oh, that feels incredibly lightweight on the skin. Definitely very natural feeling. I will say it does apply really, really nicely when you blend it with your fingers. I don't... I'm just not a fan of applying products that way. You just get it all over you. So now I've got to wash my hands. I mean, first world problems, I know. So let's try it with a brush as well. Blend that. Oh, okay. That applies beautifully with a brush. Oh, hello. That's really, really nice. Surprisingly, seeing that it is just a tinted skincare kind of a product, it's actually giving a fair bit of coverage. Really, really beautiful flattering coverage too. It's not entirely cancelling out redness or entirely uh, cancelling out discoloration, but it is definitely giving like this real sheer kind of wash of colour. So last step in the experiment, let's try it with a sponge. So I've got one of our Pro Perfecting sponges here. Yeah, I honestly feel like with a brush is probably my favourite method of application. It just sort of really works it into the skin. It's almost like it kind of warms up the formula and buffs it in and it just leaves it looking really smooth. It does work with a sponge, but I feel like the sponge absorbs most of the product because it is so lightweight and liquidy. Now I will say that the packaging is kind of annoying. It's sort of messy and you end up with a lot of product caked around the top. Pretty to look at and I do love the idea of an ampule dropper, but I don't know, it's it's kind of a little bit tedious. So here it is on my skin with one very light layer. It has dried down pretty much entirely. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all. The skin feels very smooth. It looks incredibly smoothing. I feel like it's minimized my pores. It's not settling into my fine lines or anything. I'll zoom you in so you can get a better look. Like it kind of just looks like my skin, but better. A very light, natural kind of level of coverage. But at the same time, it really has helped to minimize like redness. I certainly had like this breakout here that was very, very red when I started the video and it's like just taken it down a little. This formula paired with a concealer would be beautiful for everyday wear. Or you could just wear it without concealer if you were looking for an extra natural finish like this. It's really, really nice for the sake of experimenting, let's actually try building up the coverage. I'm gonna go back in with the brush and just see if I can't sort of work that into the skin a bit more. I'm gonna build up the coverage because I'm sure a lot of you wanna know how much coverage we can actually get out of this. Yeah, that builds it up to like a good medium coverage, honestly. That is nice. Ooh, okay, so here is two layers compared to one layer. It still looks really smoothing. It still looks really soft and flawless. Still looks airbrushed and it's still not sticky or tacky. Like it just looks beautiful. I bet you this is gonna be another product that I'm like, I wish I tried it earlier. Like, oh, I'm, I'm bad at that. <laughs> so this is my skin with two layers of the product applied. 
It's really, really beautiful. It's honestly a medium coverage now. Like I'm kind of shook at how much coverage this has given my skin. It feels very, very lightweight, very smooth. It feels beautiful and it doesn't really even feel like I'm wearing a foundation. Now, obviously let's not put all of our eggs in one basket because this is just application. We still need to see how it wears. So I'm gonna jump off camera and quickly finish off the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna start wearing this. And I'm planning on keeping this on my face for about 14 hours today. So I'll see you in a second. The rest of my makeup is on now and I honestly just feel like my skin looks incredible. Cannot even feel that I am wearing it. It feels like I have just applied my skincare and literally powdered it down. It's actually incredible. It just looks so crazy smoothing on my skin. Like I feel like it has completely erased my pores, completely erased my texture. Everything just looks like it's got sort of a filter over it. And I'm shook at the coverage. So I did end up putting a little bit of concealer. I used the Pat McGrath one just underneath my eyes just to help cover my dark circles. And then I've got bronzer, blush, obviously powdered, mascara, a little bit of lippy and I mean, it took five seconds and it looks like a full face of makeup. Like the coverage is insane. I just feel like my skin looks so smooth. It looks poreless. It's just, I am so impressed with this formula, honestly. So let's jump into the actual wear test part of this video now. I'm gonna check in again in about six hours or so, and then I'll be back later on tonight, which will be at about the 14 hour mark. So it's gonna be a really good long wear test. Uh, if this stays looking this perfect, you guys, I got a new favorite product, literally. Like, it is so perfecting on the skin. Okay, so we are at the six hour mark, you guys, and I've only just come upstairs and this is the first time I've actually looked in a mirror. My skin, it, like this formula, I, I honestly feel like even like the longer that I wear it, the smoother it is looking on my skin. Like I feel like my pores look even more blurred than they actually did earlier on when we first applied it. Like I am sure, I just, I did not expect it to be this good. I'll zoom you in. Hopefully you can see it close up there. Look how just like incredibly flawless it is looking. I am starting to get the tiniest little bit of shine on my nose and on my T-zone, but for a product that is like a hydrating formula that's infused with hyaluronic acid, like these results, I'm an oily skin type. I was low key expecting to be a very, very greasy, shiny mess. Obviously I've applied a mattifying primer with it. That's gonna be helping <laughs> a lot with the result. Maybe I'll test it another day without a primer so that I can let you guys know what I think. But honestly, I, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm seriously blown away. So smooth on my pores. It's not settled into my fine lines or anything on my smile lines. And it hasn't transferred off. There's no caking, there's no separation, there's no patchiness. It literally looks perfect. And it still doesn't even feel like I am actually wearing makeup. Like it feels like I have only put skincare on. It's honestly amazing. So I'm gonna continue wearing it. I will come back later on tonight, obviously, and we'll do a final check-in so you can see what my skin is looking like then. So far. I am absolutely obsessed with this. Okay guys, it's the end of the day now. We are officially approaching 14 hours of wear. I gotta tell you, I literally cannot get over my skin at this point. I should be so much oilier than I am. This is a tinted serum. It's skincare, it's tinted skincare. How, how? How is this happening? Like literally, I'm blown away. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, I have applied our mattifying primer, which is going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting, I guess, as far as shine control goes. But even with that, no product has transferred off my jawline. I've had my nieces here this afternoon. We were looking after them. They were climbing all over me. Like, it's not like I've just been sitting there like perfectly not touching my face. Like I can't say any product has transferred off at all. Like literally none. I've got no patching. There is no caking, there is no separation anywhere. Even across my forehead, everything just looks so smooth. I do have shine down through my T-zone and kind of like on the side of my nose there, can you see that? But literally everywhere, like I'm, I don't need to touch this up. I literally do not need to touch this up. Now there is a possibility of, I don't know, maybe like my niece touched my face and like, cause she definitely was touching my face. So maybe some of the oil came off, but if the oil came off, the foundation did not come off. Like I am, I am sure it absolutely should not look this good. Like look how smooth my pores are on my cheeks here. It's actually ridiculous. I, guess, I feel like the only place there might be a tiny, tiny bit of caking is just here. It's really hardly there though, like honestly. I have to say guys, I am blown away by this formula. Now obviously this is a first impression and it's my first wear test. I am gonna wear it again tomorrow 
with no mattifying primer so that we can see what my oily skin does and how my skin behaves without a mattifying primer. But I got to say, this paired with our primer, literally I am... I'm shocked. I'm shocked at the results. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Let me know what you think my skin looks like. I've said from day dot, my skin absolutely loves hyaluronic acid. Like I swear using hyaluronic acid makes me far less oily than I normally am. I like this. The one thing that I will say is I probably do need the shade down from this. I've got shade six to seven. I probably need five to six because it is a little on the orangey side. But other than that, this is beautiful. Oh, and I wish that it was a pump. I honestly do. I, I wish that it was a pump applicator at the top. But for a drugstore product, this is just a beautiful experience. It wears well. It applies well. It looks gorgeous. She's oily skin safe. She's everything that I want. I love her. And like, I'm kicking myself. Why didn't I try this earlier? Why? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried this formula? How did it go on your skin? What kind of results did you see? Let me know down in the comments. Um, and let me know what you think it looks like on my skin as well. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm impressed. All right, guys, I love you heaps. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.